I went in my grandmother's room and I said, Grandma, remember when Uncle Stan died and you went in the room and you said nobody to, you know, you don't want nobody to bother you. Um, and I said, the next day you came out and you just looked very strong. I was like, what, 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 what was that? Where did you get that strength from? And she said something I'll never forget. She said, Preston, when Stan was murdered, I didn't know I was going, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to make it. She said, um, it was a time where I felt so broken and so deflated that I couldn't be strong for my family for the first time in my life. And I, I prayed a prayer and I said, Lord, either give me the strength to be strong for my family or take me right now. And she said, at that moment, I entered into God's rest and I've been there ever since. And I, I wrote that story in the book to let people know that my grandmother, she couldn't tell you what presuppositional apologetics was. She couldn't break down propitiation. She couldn't explain a limited atonement like you can. But at that moment, she was an apologist. Mm, mm -hmm. At that moment, she was ready to give a defense for why she believed what she believed. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think that when we think about apologetics, we think about deep intellectual arguments and and confrontation and uh we have to know the bible front and back but she 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 knew the gospel mm -hmm. and she she knew why she believed and so when first peter three fifteen tells us to always be prepared to make a defense for anyone who asks you for the hope that is in you yet do it with gentleness and respect he wasn't talking to the seminary student <laughs> he wasn't talking to the person who uh reads systematic theolo theology books every single day he was talking to people like my grandmother mm -hmm. and so the question is, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to, to answer like why you believe in this great Lord and Savior? Um, and so that's that's the overall vision that I want wanted people to, to get through that story and other stories like it in the book.